Hope everything goes well for the rest of the school year. Sounds like there will be more budget issues to deal with in the spring. Next, Ryan Swindlehurst sat down with City Manager Mr. Jason Hammy to learn about things happening in our city. Hello, welcome to Student Connections on M6. Today with us is the City Manager of Marysville, Jason Hammy. Mr. Hammy, nice to be here. Nice to meet you, Ryan. Now, how, how has the city been adapting to recent budget cuts? Uh, very well, actually. This is our six months uh, in the new budget, and things are going real well. Excellent. Uh, it's kind of, you know, uh, belt tightening time right now, but everything's going well. Good, good. And did construction on River Road go as planned and scheduled? Yes, um, I think the project we are referring to is the water and wastewater project on River Road. It's going on schedule. In fact, we're just about completed by uh, by the uh, end of this year, by uh, by the end of December, the job will be totally completed. So Good. And speaking of construction, I, didn't, I know there's been a lot of construction going on in the Marysville Park. How has that been going? That has gone real well also. Well, that is part of the wastewater. What you see is that big tank actually that sits uh, uh, at the park is part of the water and wastewater project actually so and then uh, one of the things you'll notice that was not there before is we've also built a little sled hill you know for for kids to enjoy uh, during the winter months uh, of uh, you know in the park. So. Sounds fun. Now is, is the city planning any big events for the next season coming up? Construction wise yes we uh, in fact next year we should be starting our shoreline restoration project which is a very interesting uh, project that will take place uh, on River Road, actually, uh, you know, the, uh, there's a, a path, a, bike, uh, a walking path and a bike path that people use south of Cuddle Road, uh, right by the Marysville uh, Golf Course. Mm -hmm. That whole shoreline is going to be redone. We have uh, a grant from the U.S. EPA for about $1.5 million, so that falling seawall is going to be totally restored. Uh, and it's going to be really nice when it's all said and done. It has a duration of about a year, so by this time of this year, that project will be completed also. I'm sure we're all looking forward to see what it's going to look like. Sounds good. Now, Christmas time, you know, it's a little far away, but it is approaching. Um, is there still going to be a Christmas parade this year? Yes, in fact, we, we will have a Christmas parade this year. Uh, I believe it is on the 3rd of December, next month. And uh, I think it starts at 4 o'clock, 4.15. Uh, and then it ends uh, at the Memorial Park, at the Veterans Memorial, where uh, the mayor or the mayor pro tem will have the uh, uh, opportunity to throw in the switch to turn on the uh, Christmas lights on River Road. So that's going to be, and I think Ann Eisen, who's our uh, recreation coordinator, uh, is also planning some uh, hot chocolate and cookies at the park. So. Come and enjoy. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be a it's lot a of It's a Saturday, fun. I think. I think it's a Saturday. So Excellent. Now, on the bad side of things, or maybe good, how is the city doing with crime and vandalism? Uh, actually, pretty well. We have a very vigilant police department, very active. Um, in fact, speaking of vandalism, I just got notified a couple, three weeks ago that the vandal that uh, vandalized some of the uh, high school property about three months ago, a couple, three yes. months ago, has been, uh, as a matter of fact, arrested. So. No crime goes uh, undetected in Marysville, that's for sure. Good. Now, is, is the city getting ready and prepared for winter snow removal and salting of the roads? Uh, yes. In fact, we, uh, uh, this year we, we have not bought any new salt because last year we, we still have a whole dome full of salt at the Public Works uh, Interesting. Department. And uh, as I said last year, we were very conservative in using our salt. So we're going to spend about, I mean, we're going to save about $50,000. Uh, in not buying additional salt because, as I said, we, we have adopted new uh, processes, procedures for, for uh, plowing and, and, and salting the streets. So that's going to be really good. Good. Mm -hmm. And doubling back on construction a little bit, we know there's a lot of construction occurring currently, but is, are there any construction plans planned for the future? Um, yes, as I indicated, the shoreline restoration project phase one is $1.5 million. We are in the process right now of uh, working with the Army Corps of Engineers for hopefully an additional $2.5 million. And if we do obtain that, uh, that is going to be another couple of years maybe, and then that will finish up the whole project. You know, that will go right into the, uh, the golf course. It's called Kettle Creek right there. So that will be done as well. And we hope in future budgets we can uh, restore um, some of the capital improvement programs. This is the, this is the money that we spend on improving roads and streets. Hopefully the city council and the mayor will have 
uh, the ability to approve uh, the budget with those expenses in that budget, hopefully next year and the following year. Great. And on a little more personal note, how long have you been working for the city of Marysville? Um, about 10 years. Actually, not all of them. As a city manager, I used to be uh, a city engineer and director of public works as well. Uh, so I've been, I've been in the city for 10 years, but as a city manager, less than a year. Good. Okay. And what, what would you consider the most rewarding part of your job? Well, actually, it is working with the people and for the people for that matter. I really get a lot of uh, satisfaction when I do my job and, and it impacts somebody's life, whether it be a resident or somebody, a business in town or something like that. That is very satisfying to me. And in your job, what, what do you do and how long are your work days? Well, a city manager is in charge of the whole city, all the city departments, fire, police, public works, parks and recreation, city hall, and so on and so forth. We have about 75 employees in the city, and my function is to manage the functions of those individuals throughout the city. And I'm sorry, what was the other question now? Um, how long are your work days and your work My schedule? work days are typical work days, like uh, eight hours a day, but sometimes, I mean, it, it's never really uh, an eight hour day uh, type of job. You know, you're always, Understandable, yeah. you know, I mean, I'm at home uh, making phone calls or taking phone calls and I'm on call all the time. Um, and some, some weeks, of course, we have council meetings, so the hours can be uh, extended. You know, it could be mm -hmm. 13, 14, 15 hours a day. And if there's one thing you could do to benefit the city, what would that be and why? Um, one of the things I really want to accomplish, as I indicated, is restore the shoreline. I think we have really a great asset in the city of Marysville by having that, uh, that, that beautiful riverfront. And uh, it, it's kind of unique if you notice that we have a beach, we have a nice uh, walking area. It's such a beautiful uh, area in Marysville. So one of the things I want to accomplish is to really restore that to, to the best uh, way we can. So that's one of my goals. Excellent. Well, it's been a pleasure having you, Mr. Hammy. Right. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. We'll be back with, we'll be back with more right after this.